With its factory tuning and data center DNA, an Intel 730 series SSD is an amazing choice for gamers and performance enthusiasts. So, after months of protesting, Linus has finally made me do a personal rig update. So, as you can kind of see before me, there are the remnants of the late mineral oil computer. It does not exist anymore. If you've seen my video, hopefully somewhere around here, uh, before of the mineral oil computer, you'll know where that came from. That computer was very dear to me. Um, it helped me get a scholarship to get to school. It then helped me meet friends at school. Once they'd see the computer, they'd talk to me and that was fun. Um, and it helped me get this job amongst other things. So that computer was actually very dear to me and it meant more than just being a computer. So it was really crappy to see it go. It went because um, a series of unfortunate events with a previous roommate who will remain nameless um, for his sake, and hopefully I don't find him, um, resulted in the bottom of the fish tank cracking. I then hand carried the fish tank all the way home over bus transit where one of the bus drivers thought it was a bomb and didn't even really want to let me on at first, uh, over a ferry, and then my dad picked me up on the other side of the ferry and all the way home. And then my dad, thank you, dad, helped me fix the computer by sealing the bottom with automotive sealant. And that was great. It held for quite a while, actually. Um, it held long enough that you guys could see that video. And that video was filmed about a year and a half afterwards. And then it took about another six months to reach its final demise. It started leaking out of the bottom again um, about five, six months after that video was filmed, the video about the mineral computer originally. And I kind of knew it was its time the sealant was giving away. It's really hard to find those fish tanks. Eclipse 6, they're, they're designed in a way that it's really nice for putting a computer in it, oddly enough, considering it's a fish tank. The front is bowed and the top has a big dome on it so you can build in your cable management and your hard drives and whatnot up there. So it is actually quite nice and it is fairly important that you have that case. So I couldn't find another one and that was it. I now just have these remnants amongst pretty much everything else that was in that computer. The only part that died coming out of that computer was my graphics card and that was due to negligence of my own, unfortunately. Uh, I didn't really think about the fact that after being in there for like five years, um, the oil would kind of take away at the thermal paste and I just put the graphics card in a computer really quickly after I'd taken it out of the mineral computer and ran it for a little while hoping that it would work and trying to fix it and I think I might have burnt it out. So got rid of that. Everything else still works though. This power supply still works and uh, <laughs> the story behind this is interesting. You'll notice it doesn't have the casing anymore. It doesn't have the casing because when I tried to fit it in the mineral oil computer, it sat at the bottom and I couldn't get the rocks out of under it. So it would sit up on these rocks and it was too high and the top of the power supply was actually pushing up against some RAM that I had in the computer. Again, if you look back at that video, you'll see the clearance there. And so I had to take the casing off because once I took the casing off, I could get the fan out. And once the fan's out, um, it would fit, it would be fine. So I unscrewed everything, took it off, and then I hit this point on the bottom where you can see there was a terrible job of taking the metal apart. I was determined to get this thing built in one day. It took me like 12 or 13 hours, it was brutal. Um, and once I got to this part, I used a piece of metal which was not designed for pulling metal apart and brute strength to literally rip the metal off. So I wedged it in so I could get a point um, of leverage and then literally pulled the thing off. You, it, it's terrible, hopefully there will get some close-ups of it, um, but it worked. I was pissed, I was like 10, 11 hours into the build and I had to make it work and I made it work and it's fantastic and the power supply still works somehow. My favorite thing about this power supply is that around the time that this came out, this is a, let me see here, HX620W modular power supply from Corsair. When this first came out, everyone was fighting tooth and nail for black PCB motherboards. That was like not a huge thing at that point in time. And this has a black PCB in it. That always blew my mind. It's a power supply. Like almost no one other than me really got to see that other than the modular part, that's super green, but the actual base PCB is black, which is just fantastic. So thank you for doing that because I would totally see that otherwise. This is the radiator that was in the mineral computer. Uh, it still has oil in it. I still have a Ziploc bag on the back so that the oil won't drip everywhere um, because oil is incredibly hard to get off things. There's still oil on this power supply actually. If you touch different parts of it, there's still definitely oil on it. Um, and the plant 
the legendary plant that was inside the oil computer and is like super dilapidated now. Um, yeah, I don't know. I didn't want to show off everything because I looked like a super pack rat because I am, because the, I'm very nostalgic about all this stuff and I can't really let it go. I used to have a bubble machine that was inside of it, but this was actually one of the first big hurdles that I had to jump over was this stupid bubble machine because it had these black rubber suction cups so you could push it on the inside of the case because they expect you to have a water-filled fish tank because that makes sense. Pfft jerks. Um, so I fill it up with mineral oil and the mineral oil rots away the rubber and the rubber just starts gooing everywhere and particles go all over the place and it was a disaster. I tried to um, I tried to pour it through like a sieve kind of thing and it, it didn't filter the rubber out at all. It was still really gross so I had to eventually get rid of all that oil. That was expensive and I had to get new oil. Um, I felt bad because my brother actually bought a lot of the oil for me for the first build because I was running out of money and that was fantastic and then I had to get more so that kind of sucked. Um, so the demise of the mineral oil computer brought to attention Squirtle. This is the new computer. This is the current in limbo computer also known as limbo actually because it changes so much and because of how it's set up so that it can change so much. It's in an 800D which was a hand-me-down from Linus's wife's computer at the time. She has a much smaller easier to manage case now. This thing is a beast and weighs a ton. Uh, luckily I can carry it around but it is actually very annoying to carry around. I do bring this thing to lands and we do land fairly often, so that can be kind of frustrating. Uh, to go through components, let's start with the power supply. Now I'm gonna preface this with, with uh, I love this power supply. This power supply is fantastic. What I don't like about it is that it's blue, for one, and two, that it's very poorly sleeved. Um, but other than that, it's absolutely fantastic. Circuitry is great. Um, the features are awesome. No issues with it there, but I, <laughs> I very recently tried to kind of pull a fast one by swapping a Silverstone cloth sleeved beautiful power supply into my workstation at work which totally doesn't need it so that it could kind of sit there and be forgotten and then my eventual plan was to move it into this computer and swap this one out up there. Um, but yeah, no, Linus caught on to that one <laughs> pretty much immediately. So that's not happening. Gonna have to sleeve this guy. So we'll see what I can do about that. Um, next up is the SSD that's in here. Everything has a story in this case. Uh, next up is the SSD. That is an Octane 256 gigabyte SSD from back when I was testing Thunderbolt and USB 3 speeds and all these weird SSD tests that I was doing at the time and I had to do a lot of those outside of hours. So Linus let me have that for doing all the outside of hours work. That was fantastic. Um, I was also never able to water cool before this due to straight up cost. I was always a student, never able to really afford water cooling. So when mineral oil computer finally went away, Linus supported me in getting water cooling going as well, which was fantastic. The gigantic rad up here is from Linus. The nice SwiftTech water block is from Linus. I had a T-virus from Linus, but it was semi-broken, so got rid of that. The D5 Vario in the bottom, which is beautiful. If you're gonna get a pump, you should get that pump. Um, that's from Linus as well. And there's something interesting about the bottom. You might be wondering why this is not down there. This is the removable plastic thing that goes in Corsair 800Ds and slides into the bottom, right there. Not down there, because with how, how it works, I wouldn't really be able to mount my pump to it very well. Why would I want to mount my pump to it? Um, well, part of it's because it's plastic, so it would make a lot of noise, and there's other issues for mounting a pump to it. Um, because I wanted the pump to be removable. Everything in this case has to be able to be very easily swapped and very easily pulled out and messed with. So it wasn't really gonna work great on this. So we took a mud flap from my old crappy convertible, which like barely worked when it did work and is in a scrap heap somewhere now. We took a mud flap from it and my dad was able to custom cut the mud flap so that it fits on that sliding rail. So you can actually see the model of my car on there, which is, which is kind of cool, actually. I like that. That's, that's super ghetto, but I always have to have something that's super ghetto in my computer. Unfortunately, right now, pretty much everything is super ghetto in this computer, but we'll get more into that later.
Next up is the motherboard area components. So I got this Z77 Premium ASUS board by accidentally bricking my Z77 Deluxe ASUS board while I was working. So luckily I was able to get that swap out, uh, which is good, but I don't really use any of the additional fe uh, features that the Premium has over the Deluxe. So wasn't a huge improvement there, although it works, which is a pretty huge improvement. Uh, I'm still running a 2600K in here, and I'm not really that interested in upgrading, to be completely honest. As of right now, this platform is great for me. This 2600K is crazy fast. I have profiles for it running uh, five gigahertz plus. I have profiles all the way down just for different temperature levels and voltage levels and all that kind of stuff. I have it all perfectly set up exactly how I need it to be, and that's fine. There's been no processor that's really wowed me lately, so I'm completely okay with the 2600K, and I fully expect myself to be sitting on this platform for a while. Um, other than that, we've got a graphics card, which is 780 from Gigabyte, the WinForce Edition, whatever, but it is a reference design card. I have a block coming so that I can start water cooling and integrate it into my loop. You can see the tubing goes right over top of it, so it'll be really easy to integrate into my loop. Um, and then that'll be great. I also have a heat killer backplate, which I actually have, it's not here, but I have a heat killer backplate for it already, which will look fantastic. I love those heat killer backplates. And as you can probably see, the water loop is absolutely putrid. Uh, I was hoping that the silver fittings were gonna be able to hold back the gunk, and that was not true at all. So somewhere around here, I have a silver kill coil, but I don't remember exactly where it is, but that's gonna be going in there as well and I'm gonna have to probably ditch all my tubing and clean up my rad and clean up my block and clean up the pump and do all that kind of stuff so I can redo the whole loop, which will not be fun, but it's disgusting right now, so that will have to happen. The sound card down at the bottom, before the audio forum starts murdering me for having a sound card and not an O2, it, I got it for 25 bucks way back at an NCIX warehouse sale, which was awesome. <laughs> It's a Zonar card. The main reason why I like it is because it has the big quarter inch plugs, which I just, I like that. I don't like 3.5 millimeter plugs. They're annoying. I feel like they're going to break all the time. I adapter all my 3.5 millimeter to quarter inch, which I know really does nothing. Um, but I just like it a lot and it was worth the 25 bucks and I'm very happy I have it. Eventually I'm sure I'll switch to some other solution, but for now it's absolutely great. Now we get into what I like to call my patent pending easy swap technology, which is where I just leave the cables for everything pre-plugged in and just dangling there because it's easy to set things up that way. So you can see I have a hard drive mounted just sitting in the optical drive bay area. And now saying mounted is actually pushing it kind of far because this isn't screwed in in any way. And it just sits there and it's horrible. Super not recommended. Totally not a good idea at all, but yep, doing it because it's super easy. And it is a temporary hard drive. I'm not gonna be keeping that forever. I've been data swapping stuff towards my NAS for a little while now, and I've been trying to move things around. If you guys saw the Synology video recently, you'll know I got a Synology NAS, and I've been kind of changing my setup. So that is a temporary hard drive, so I could just move things to it and off of it all the time as I reformat drives and whatnot. So it will be moving eventually. But the rest of these cables that are just kind of dangling here are there so I can slide in drives into the front of the case and just plug them in really easily because the back plane for this thing broke years ago and doesn't work at all. So I have to manually plug everything in that way. Uh, so yeah, they're all just sitting there ready to go, which is horrible and disgusting aesthetically, but is very easy to work with. Another thing you'll notice is down here, this fan is totally not screwed in at all which was interesting while trying to move the case uh, because it started flopping around. And also that the door that goes over that fan above it is also not in at all, despite having it right here. Uh, I find these rather annoying. I don't mind seeing the fan and having to push this in and out all the time gets, yeah, like I just said, annoying. So I just leave it out. And the reason why that fan is completely loose is I could probably fix that because I have extra screws up here in the top that could work for it, is the long black screws that you often use to fit through the top of your case, through a set of fans, and then into a radiator. Uh, when I was at a LAN, another buddy didn't have enough to be able to mount a new cooler that he had brought with him. And so I sacrificed mine that were 
hooked into that fan because I was like, it can just sit in the bottom and it's a gentle typhoon. So it'll probably just kind of be able to hold itself up and it'll probably be fine because I'm managing it with a uh, fan speed controller in the back of my case. And honestly, it has been fine. Before I moved this, I kind of forgot it was freely floating like that. So I'm gonna have to steal some screws from the top, I think, and screw that bad boy in, or hopefully I'll just be able to get some other ones. Eventually I'm gonna be swapping pretty much all the fans out in this case anyways, for those new Noctua industrial ones, because they look amazing and I'm super stoked to get those. So that'll happen at some point in time, no time soon though. If you're wondering why the tubing for my water cooling goes up into the right instead of up into the left, this ties into that whole patent pending technology I was talking about. Not really, but yeah. Uh, it, it, it makes it so that if I take the block off, it falls down into the right instead of kind of dangling right in the way of everything. And if it falls down into the right with gravity and the tubes and everything, that means that accessing the motherboard becomes extremely easy instead of very annoying. Doesn't look aesthetically pleasing, but it works really well. And now we move on to the dreaded and horrible back of the case. So continuing on with the patent pending easy swap technology. No, it's, uh, I can't even keep that up for much longer. This is terrible. Um, I get angry when I'm helping people build their computers. And if they decide to do all the cable management before I show up, I unplug everything and redo it. I didn't do that with my computer. Uh, I like to think that that comes from the idea that if I'm building one for someone else or helping them build it, they're probably not going to change anything for a long time. And I change things quite often with this computer because I do, but not really the greatest excuse. I could cable management in some form. Uh, this is the Octane I was telling you about early on. It is secured by nothing. Um, this is my T-balancer, which is fantastic. Great fan controller. It is secured by electrical tape. That's it, not screwed in, no plate, no bracket, just electrical tape. Uh, this rubber grommet up here is not able to fully go in due to the mounting of my T-virus, so I secured it with electrical tape. Good job, there you go. Um, yeah, and none of these cables are actually held in by anything. If they're secured at all, it is secured by other cables, actually. This is the only place that there's any form of cable management, and it's not holding it to the case. It's just, it was tied that way. And it was actually tied this way by someone else, not by me. So I can't even take claim for that. Uh, we're not going to spend too much time back here because it makes me sad. So we're gonna move on. So you guys know it's bad, Linus knows it's bad. Now, pretty much everyone at Linus Media Group knows it's bad. Most of my friends won't know it's bad until they see this video because I kind of hide it under my desk so you can only see it out of the corner of your eye so it looks good. Uh, my mom will think it's fantastic no matter what. I love you, mom. Uh, and so what am I gonna do about it? Because it sucks. Well, I've been sitting hunting for a case for an extremely long period of time and I honestly can't find anything that I truly, really have fallen for. Uh, I really like Linus's case, TG07, but they've kind of changed how they made them. So to be able to get one that's absolutely fantastic, you need Linus's case, one of the original TG07s, which are great. There's the murder box uh, Mark I or whatever it is, which is great, but horrifically scary, freakishly expensive, and I can't bring myself to buy it. Um, and other than that, I'm just not really sold. So I'm probably gonna stick with good old 800D. What am I gonna do to it? First plan is to take this back panel and cut a tree of Gondor into the back panel. Huge fan of Lord of the Rings, by the way. Um, and then line it with this stuff which is Be Quiet PC Noise Absorber Kit. Uh, if you open it up on the inside, you find one giant thick piece of super squishy foam, and then a bunch of these not as thick, not as squishy panels that you can custom cut to whatever size you want. I got this not way too long ago, and I plan on using this all throughout the case, to be completely honest. I want to use it pretty much everywhere because that paired up with the industrial Noctua's, which I plan on getting, should be fantastic at making a very quiet computer. So I want to cut the tree of Gondor, then line the outside of the tree of Gondor with that stuff. Try and get white LEDs to point either directly at the back panel or to point uh, sideways, not out, so that you can look right at it and it's glowing, but it's not glowing directly at your eyes, so it's not very hard to look at. 
uh, I think that would look fantastic. I think it would look absolutely great. Just the white lined LEDs, I think that would look really good. And that's it for the back. Now for the inside. So the back was the Tree of Gondor. The inside, I'm thinking, I'm less sure about this, but I'm thinking more of a Mordor theme. So replacing all the tubing, which already needs to happen with uh, red, red tubing, replacing the liquid with probably Mayhem's red. I'm probably gonna have to replace this T-virus, but I might just get another T-virus because I love these things. I'm not entirely sure, but I might do something with the RAM. I'm gonna try and paint the heat sinks on the motherboard red. Uh, I'm gonna try and get a really cool design done to the heat killer plate that I'm gonna be putting on the back of this 780. I'm gonna try to do something with the box of this power supply, but I'm not entirely sure what. I'm not too worried about it because it does get hidden when the door's on. Uh, there's no way I'm removing my Sunfire mud flap, so that's staying there, Sunbird or whatever. Um, cleaning up cables, I have to resleeve the power supply for sure. I have to change lengths of the cables because if I'm gonna be doing that Tree of Gondor thing on the back, I'm gonna to have to cable manage around things. So I'm gonna to have to make my own cables for the power supply. That'll suck, but whatever. Uh, replacing all the fans with Noctua industrial fans. I'm probably gonna leave the rad up there. It's a huge rad and I like it, it works really well. And yeah, that's probably about it. Not entirely sold on that plan. We'll see, maybe I'll go with a Hobbit theme, but I don't know how I would do that or something, I'll figure it out. Elvin, I don't know how to do that either. I don't like gold, so green and gold would look really weird. I don't know, I'll figure it out. Uh, as for the back, I wanna steal something from NZXT and put a LED up in the back so I can see my IO really easily. I think that would be fantastic and that shouldn't be too hard to do either. So I plan on doing that. Um, and then that's honestly about it. I have no plan on changing the platform because again, no processor has really wowed me. I don't see myself changing the case because no case has really wowed me enough to wanna to actually switch to it from this case. Yeah, I guess I need to try to fix this back plane here so I can actually put hard drives there again because putting hard drives down here in the bottom, which is another hard drive cage, is terrible. It's, it's not good at all. So I'm gonna to have to try and fix that in some form or just move to straight SSDs, which might be a plan as well because I can just shove them in the back. Hopefully better than that. That's another thing. Need to fix the kale management, but I think I already brought that up. And then that's about it. Um, sorry to everyone that expected something awesome. If you're wondering why, if you've watched some of the after parties, why I'm really vague when I answer what my computer is, it's because I kind of hide it because I'm not really happy with what state it's in right now. It's hard to go from mineral oil awesomeness to poor old Squirtle here, who is awesome, but just doesn't get enough credit because I don't treat him well enough. I'm sorry, Squirtle. I am so sorry. Anyways, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Uh, Comment and rip me apart in the comment section below. Rip me apart on the forum. While you're down ripping me apart in the comment section below this, uh, like or dislike this video. Don't forget to subscribe for hopefully an update at some point in time, which isn't as terrible as this. Um, while you're over on the forum, if you don't wanna see the ads, be sure to become a contributor because that way you get rid of all the ads on the forum, which is fantastic. And if you want a shirt, which is not this one, be sure to check out the link in the description for shirts because hopefully we'll have some interesting stuff. I know there's a few things coming out that I've been waiting for for a long time that we haven't released in terms of shirts. So hopefully that happens soon. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for bearing through the terribleness of the current state of my computer. And I will see you guys next time.